Training our members and being citizen world makers has always been central to what it means to be part of the Junior League of Portland. And it's been this way since our early history. A hundred years ago, women did not have equal access to higher education, but this did not stop the Junior League of Portland from educating its members. Between 1915 and 1919, the League hosted a series of 12 lectures in the spring given by university professors. These lectures were free to the women in the League. Other members of the community bought the tickets as a fundraising campaign for building the women's building at the University of Oregon. It's through collections of small actions like these that the landscape for women's higher education began to change. And today, many, if not most of our members have college degrees. Even though women are highly trained today, more than ever before, we still do not have equal access to leadership positions in our community. The Women's Foundation of Oregon found in 2016, only 45 of Oregon's 300 plus publicly traded governing board positions are held by women. Only about 20% of businesses in Oregon and the US are owned by women. And several Oregon counties do not have a single woman serving in a countywide office. We are taking action by doing what the Junior League of Portland has always done, by training and developing women. Recently, we developed a certificate program that prepares its graduates to serve on boards. This program offers engaging trainings covering the essential duties, leadership, management skills, and governance requirements needed for an effective leadership council.